In this video, we are going to look at the live data connection features from SAP Analytics Cloud to S4 HANA. I'm Vibhav from AppLexus Technologies. A live data connection means that when a user opens a story in SAP Analytics Cloud, changes made to the data in the source system are reflected immediately. While traditionally one would have to load or replicate data in a data warehouse to perform this kind of reporting, we will demonstrate how newly created data is immediately present in SAC without the need for any additional steps. Also, as this data is not copied over to the cloud, sensitive data stays in the local network behind your firewall. To demonstrate these real-time analytical capabilities, let us conduct a demo where we pull sales data from our S4 HANA system into SAC. We have already configured an S4 HANA live connection on the backend and created a model in SAC on top of it. We will now pull data from the sales volume analysis model, which is acquiring live sales data present from a CDS view in the S4 system and create a story using it. Here are some of the different dimensions and measures present in the model. Once in our story, let us first add a date range filter on the billing date. This is a dynamic filter that is based on the system date and does not use any hard-coded data. Let us set the granularity of the time data as month so as to filter only on the current month. Following this, we add a KPI tile showing us the total quantity sold for April. We do this by adding our chart, selecting the required measure, and then setting the chart type. Next, let us add another chart widget showing us the total sales per customer. Let us add the sales volume under measures and sold to party under dimensions. Finally, we add a table component showing us the sales volume and quantity sold per billing document. Let us clear the preset measures and dimensions and add the ones that we require. Let us add billing document under rows. And sales volume and sales volume quantity under columns. Let us add a sort by descending on the billing document dimension to show us the most recently created one. Any newly created billing documents should show up on the top of this list. Next, let us open the S4 system. We start off by creating a sales order in the system for the customer Green High Bikes. This customer is ordering 15 pieces of the shown material and creating an order of net value 15,030 US dollars. Click Save to finalize order creation. Next, we go to the T code VL01N to create a delivery document. We set the shipping point and use the order we just created as a reference. Let us pick all 15 pieces of the material ordered and click on Post Goods Issue to create the delivery document. Note the delivery document number that appears at the bottom of the screen. Next is the T code VF01. Here, we create the billing document using the delivery document number as reference. Let us hit save to create the document. The new billing document is created with the document number mentioned in the bottom of the screen. Let us go back to SAC to check and see if this change is reflected in our story. Upon refreshing our story, we notice that the quantity sold KPI has increased in value by 15 units. The sold to party chart shows the increased sales, sales volume for our customer Green High Bikes. Our sales volume analysis table also reflects the newly added billing document with the sales volume quantity and value updated accordingly. This has been a demonstration of how SAC can connect to S4 HANA using a live connection. If this content has been of interest to you and you would like to be informed when new videos are posted, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.